Hello again, students. Hola, estudiantes. It's Mr. Alexander, your art teacher, with another lesson for today. Now, before we get started, I need to give you a little reminder that you need to get your art supplies. So if you don't know what those are, all you have to do is look on the Canvas page. Uh, that was the page you were at before you clicked on this video, okay? You'll see boxes in yellow and green, también en español, okay? You need to look at that list and we need to get those items. If you not sure how to get back there, hey, no problem. If you're watching this video on YouTube, all you have to do is look down here in this corner, okay? Go a little ways below that, you're gonna see uh, the list that's also printed there. So you can copy and paste that, put it over in a grocery list, do what you got to do because we're going to need those art supplies for today's lesson and for the next day and the next day and the next day and the next day. You get the idea. We're going to need them. So make sure you go out and get them. And now for today's lesson, we're going to be making our sketchbooks. Estamos haciendo uh, cuadernos de bocetos. All right. For this, you're going to need three items. You're going to need 10 pieces of paper, okay? Diez hojas de papel. You're also going to need a box of crayons, okay? Caja de crayones or colores. And then you're also going to need a bottle of glue, okay? Pejamento. All right, now we've got everything set up. We're about to get started. But first, there are also four important words we're gonna need for this lesson vocabulary words, okay? Fancy words that we're going to need so that we understand what we're doing, not only in this lesson, but also for the rest of art, because I use these words a lot. So, let's get started. Our very first word is vertical. En español, vertical. When you are vertical, you are standing up, straight up and down. And if I were to tell you to turn your paper so that it's vertical, that means the paper as a rectangle should be up and down like a door, como una puerta. Now, the next word is the opposite of vertical, and that word is horizontal. En español, horizontal. When you are horizontal, you are usually sleeping or taking a nap. And if I were to tell you to turn your paper so that it is horizontal, that means you should turn that rectangular paper so that it resembles or looks like a window, okay? Como una ventana. Now, our very next word that we're going to discuss is the word pattern. En español, patrón. So a pattern is when we have something like a line or a color or a shape or a picture and it is repeated in a certain way or in a certain design. Uh, patrón es cuando repetimos un diseño, okay? And our final word that we're going to discuss is the word contour. In español, contorno. A contour is a very simple outline of a shape. Not all the lines on the inside of the shape, just the outline. And you can copy that contour line Okay, that outline without all the things in the middle. All right, great, let's get going. Okay, so what we're basically going to be doing today is gluing each corner of each page together. Now, some of you might be wondering, Mr. Alexander, how come we're doing this instead of just using a stapler? Well, that's a good question. The reason is, is because most of us don't have a stapler just laying around the house, including yours truly. So, we're going to use the next best thing, which is glue. Now, if you do have a stapler, you can skip the glue steps and just use your stapler there. But if you don't, just do accordingly. What we're basically going to be doing is we're going to be taking our papers and we want to make sure that they are vertical, okay? And actually, you can set those aside for right now. Take your paper, make sure it is vertical, okay? Hazlo vertical. And up here in the corner, you're gonna be using your glue. Now, the thing that you wanna remember about glue, first of all, you may have to pick off the little glue boogers on the tip, right? Just pick your boogers right off the tip there, okay? Because that may stop the glue from flowing out. When you open it up, don't open it up all the way, just open it up just a little bit there, and you wanna make sure you're not just squeezing it like crazy, because if you do, it's gonna make a big snotty mess all over your paper, right? So what you want to do is you're going to just do a dot. 
And what we want to do is, in the very corner, we're going to form a tiny triangle with small dots of glue. So you'll do just like so. Just one, two, and three. The triangle, okay? Hace un triangle con puntos. Once you've done that, your next step is to lay the next piece of paper perfectly on top of that. Let's go ahead and line it up. Make sure it is nice and straight there. And once done, we repeat the process. You get your bottle of glue and we do it again. Small dots of glue forming a triangle. Now that wasn't a small dot, that was a little bit much, a little bit of an accident there. Just remember that a small dot does a lot, so you don't need very much on there. And you're gonna take your paper and you will do this. You wanna repeat this 10 times, okay? 10 pieces of paper, one on top of another, using the glue to make your triangles in the corner. Now, once that's completed and you have your packet all together, you're gonna to wanna to take that and set it aside someplace safe so that you can wait. You should wait about an hour for that whole thing to dry. And here we are back again. It's completely dried up. It should be nice and stiff up here in this corner. Now we're gonna take this and we are going to turn it over like so. And we wanna rotate it. We're gonna turn it around so that it is horizontal, okay? So in Espanol, here is our glue side right here, okay? Da la vuelta hacia atrás y la esquina, okay? Pegada esta en el parte inferior derecha. So you wanna make sure that this part that you've glued is now in the bottom right corner, okay? So you are now on the back of the page, or the back of the sketchbook, I should say, and you've turned it horizontally, okay? As horizontal, it's horizontal, and you now have this little glued up spot right here in the bottom right corner. And we're gonna decorate the back of your sketchbook. Now here is where your colors come into play. Now what we're going to be doing with these is you're going to be writing your name right here in the middle. Now if you are in kindergarten or first grade, you're going to need to get a parent or an older brother or sister to help you write your name clearly and spelled correctly right there in the middle of the page, okay? Si está en kindergarten o primer grado, uh, pídale a un padre o hermano mayor uh, que le ayude a escribir su nombre, okay? Now, we're gonna open up the color box. Now, you wanna pick for your name your favorite color. And so, my favorite happens to be blue, which I do not see in here. So, I'm going to pick my second favorite color, which is green. All right, so in the middle here, I'm gonna write my first name. I want you to write your first name. Now my first name is Lee, so I'm gonna do my capital L, writing properly from top to bottom, left to right. My E is the same way, top to bottom, left to right. Top to bottom, left to right, okay? Nice neat handwriting, as best you can do. Now. Uh, the next thing that we're going to want to do is create our patterns. We're gonna call these cloud patterns, okay? That means what we're doing patterns and we're using a contour line. Do you remember that vocabulary word? Contour, right? The outline. And so we're gonna kind of copy the outline of our name. Now, one quick caution here. Please make sure that you did not copy my name on the back of the paper. This is your sketchbook not mine, you need to make sure that your name is right in there. Now, you're going to pick two more of your favorite colors. And let's see here, I'm gonna grab orange and purple. Here we go, okay? So, set your favorite color aside for right now. And pick a color, uh, one of your other favorites, and we're gonna use that to make a contour, okay? Sort of an outline shape around your name. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna kind of swoop around and come in here a little bit. And then I'm gonna go up and go around my first letter E and then my second letter E, swoop around 
and you'll see this looks kind of like a big chubby worm or it looks like a you know a cloud okay so that's why I call these uh, a cloud pattern because we're gonna be making patterns of that same contour line going around and around with different colors but it does have to be a pattern so the next thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna make another cloud contour line I'm gonna pick my other second favorite here the purple and so I'm gonna take this I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna go around that contour shape it'll look a little bit bigger I don't want to touch it but I want to be very close to it swooping around there and boom okay now go back to your favorite color the one that you used for your name we're gonna continue that doing the same thing doing the contour shape and you're gonna to start to see a pattern emerge it's gonna be really nice and it's a really cool effect because it draws your eyes and, and the attention of the viewer in towards the center where your name is now we've established the pattern okay for those of you who remember learning about patterns in math we would call this an ABC pattern right that means we're gonna repeat that and what for example, for me, what would my next color be? I started off with orange, purple, and green. If this is an ABC pattern, my next color is gonna be what? You guessed it, orange, right? I'm starting over again to repeat this pattern. So I grab my orange. Now I'm gonna repeat this over and over until I run out of room on the page. And I fast forwarded this process a bit. We've now completed our whole pattern. Good job, guys. Now, the next thing you wanna do is keep this in a safe place for our next art lesson. Please remember that this booklet, this sketchbook is only for future drawings. So I know it might be oh so tempting to draw more pictures on the inside, but we can't do that. You can use another sheet of paper for that. We wanna save this for our art sketches, and that way we can see our progress as the year goes by. All right, friends. Well, I cannot wait to see all your cool cloud patterns and your names on your sketchbooks. Now keep this in a safe place. And on the day that we all come back to school, you wanna make sure you put that in your backpack and then when you get to your new desk you want to take it out slide that in your desk and keep it there and you want to bring that with you to art class on the days that you come okay so uh in espanol um, el día uh, que todos uh, uh, regresemos uh, a la escuela okay debes traer esto en tu mochila okay y uh, ponerlo en tu escritorio Okay? Y llevarlo a mi clase todos los días que tengas arte. Okay? Well, I can't wait to see you guys. I can't say it enough. Until then, please make sure that you always wear your mask. Rock that hand sanitizer. Stay healthy and safe. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.